Which is larger, 1.01 to the power of 100 or 2? This might seem like an abstract math puzzle, but it's actually a question about a fundamental force that shapes our lives. It asks, if you make a tiny 1% improvement and you do that 100 times, do you end up twice as good? The answer is far more surprising than you think. Now, trying to multiply 1.01 by itself 100 times would be a nightmare. There has to be a more elegant way. The secret lies not in brute force calculation, but in understanding the number structure. The key insight is to see that the number 1.01 can be split into two simpler parts. Let's start with our expression. We can rewrite 1.01 as 1 plus 0 0.01. Our expression is really 1 plus 0 0.01, all raised to the power of 100. This form, a two-part expression raised to a power, is called a binomial. And for this, mathematics has a beautiful and powerful tool. This is the binomial theorem. It provides a precise recipe for expanding an expression like a plus b raised to some power, and it's a sum of several terms, and the secret to our problem is revealed in just the first few. When we apply the theorem, our expression expands into this long sum. Let's break it down piece by piece, starting with the very first term. This first part, 100 choose zero, asks, how many ways can you choose zero items from 100? There's only one way to do that, choose nothing. So that symbol becomes the number one. Next, we have one to the power of 100. One multiplied by itself any number of times is still just one. That simplifies to one as well. Finally, we look at 0 0.01 to the power of zero. Any number raised to the power of zero is one. So that also becomes one. The entire first term is just one times one times one, which of course is one. Now let's do the same for the second term. This part, 100 choose one, asks, how many ways can you choose one item from 100? There are exactly 100 ways. So that becomes 100. The rest of the term is straightforward. One to the 99th is one, and 0 0.01 to the first power is just 0 0.01. So we are left with 100 times 0 0.01. And that product is exactly 1. The first two terms sum to 2. But the expansion doesn't stop here. Every subsequent term in the expansion is also a positive number. Since all our base numbers are positive, there are no negative terms to cancel anything out. So what does this all mean? Our original number is equal to 1 plus 1 plus a whole series of other positive values. This means it is equal to two plus some extra positive amount. Think of it on a number line. We start at two, then take steps to the right. We must end up at a number larger than two. It's not an approximation, it's a mathematical certainty. So how much larger is it? The actual value is approximately 2.7048. Improving by 1% 100 times doesn't make you 100% better. It makes you over 170% better. That is the power of compounding. Small, consistent improvements don't just add up, they multiply. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider liking and subscribing for more mathematical ideas that change how you see the world.